Hello, hello dear friends and welcome again to the channel, the place where you can find useful Guild Wars 2 guides and tons of different content related to this incredible MMO. In today's video I will show you how you can get another amazing looking weapon, the torch known as the Favor of the Colossus. This is the actual winner from the design a weapon contest held by ArenaNet back in 2017 and the design most likely is based on the chained up glosses from the cliffside fractal. Another curious fact is that the torch was called Prometheus Gift before being implemented into the game. So, before you start working on the achievement legend builder that will reward you the torch favor of the Colossus, first you have to unlock it. To do that, first combine two laser vision crystals with three vials of blood, six sapphires and 15 globes of ectoplasm in the mystic forge to create an ectoplasm infused vision crystal. After you consume this item you will unlock the legend builder quest and two more achievements. The first one is related to the great sword eclipse and the other one is related to the sword science claw. By the way, the guide about the Great Sword Eclipse was the first video I made of this series. So if you want to check that one as well, you find the link in the description of this video and I hope that I will have enough free time to upload the Science Cloud guide as soon as possible. Oh yes, I almost forgot again to tell you about the oiled Oricalton torch head. Make sure that you have one because you will need it at the end to complete the achievement. So, with all that out of the way, let's begin. So, to begin this journey you must take uh, the grapple waypoint, then head east into Brandov Steading. Inside of this Norn Lodge you will find a ghost named Bakin. In life Bakin was a member of the Derman Priory and a great admirer of the Norn culture. When you talk with him, he will tell you that he hopes to make a legend for himself, as the Norns do, but unfortunately he died before he was able to gain any renown. And he will ask you to help him craft a powerful weapon that will serve as his legacy instead. Of course, you'll agree to help him because you're a good soul and just like that you'll complete the first part of this achievement. To continue with the second part of the Legend Builder achievement, you should take the Travelance Waypoint, then head west toward the Leper's Narrow Shrine. If you don't have a flying mount, make your way across the bridge and in front of the shrine you'll see Bakken surrounded uh, by a few aggressive griffins. So before you talk with him and complete this part, most likely you'll have to do some cleaning work. Next. Take the steel bracken waypoint, then head east following the path of ice elementals until you reach a cave entrance that will lead you to Dostoev Sky Peak. By the way, Dostoev is a really cool East European name. <laughs> hmm. uh, once inside, uh, you'll see a ramp. Jump down and not far away you will see Bakken talk with him and this part will be done as well. To begin the fourth part of this achievement you should take Dochu Waypoint, then head south toward Dochu Excavation, enter an opening leading into the cave. After a while make a left turn and after that another one just this time to the right until you reach the Dwarven Relic. Once you're there, I think you already know what you have to do. Talk with Bakin and you'll complete this part as well. Next, use the Tribulation Waypoint, then head southwest toward the Tribulation Rift. 
Start climbing the scaffolding and the outside rocks until you reach the highest part of the wooden tower. Jump across and talk to Beckin to complete this part. Now, this area is part of a jumping puzzle where you cannot use neither your flying mount or your glider and there is no way to go around or let's say cheat except to do the actual jumping puzzle. How I know that? Believe me, I tried more than once and the result was the same every time. Anyway, the jumping puzzle is not so hard and it will not take a lot of effort uh, from you to get to the place where Bakin is standing. So dear friends, there is one last thing left for you to do before you complete this epic journey. Head back to the Brandolph Steading, the place where we met for first time Bakin. But before you do that, make sure that you have in your inventory the oiled oricalcum torch head that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Talk with Bacon for one last time to complete the Legend Builder achievement and you'll receive as reward the amazing looking torch favor of the Colossus. It will take you no more than 15 maximum 20 minutes to complete this quest. And like I said in the video about Great Sword Eclipse, the swift effort is a small price to pay for the enduring style and coolness that these weapons add to your overall Guild Wars 2 fashion. And yes dear friends, slowly slowly we came to the end of this video, so if you found the information in it useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, there will be a lot more Guild Wars 2 guides to come in the future, so if you don't want to miss them or you just like to support my work even further, don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, have a great day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye!